Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We praise your name. We magnify your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. For thine is worthy. You are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy, Lord God. Worthy is your name. We praise your name. We magnify you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say glory to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. For you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy, Lord God. Worthy is your name. Hallelujah. Father, in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We come to you, Lord God. We come to you, Lord God. Humble as we know how, Lord God. Humble as we know how, Lord God. Humble as we know how, Lord God. Asking you to forgive each of us, Lord God, of our sins. Forgive us, God, of our iniquities. Forgive us, God, of our trespasses and transgressions. And cover them, Lord God, with the blood of Jesus. And God, we pray right now that you cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Oh, God, we are thankful this afternoon. We are thankful this evening, Lord God. Thank for for this day for this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it we are thankful tonight god for the blood of jesus thankful because it's that blood that cleanses us from all unrighteousness and it's that blood lord god that allows us to come boldly to the throne of grace we are thankful lord god for the power that is in the blood for this power that's in that blood lord god that protects us. It's the power that's in the blood, Lord God, that cleanses us. It's the power that's in the blood that heals and delivers and sanctifies us and redeems us and justifies us and make all things new. And God, we're thankful right now. We're thankful right now, Lord God. We're thankful right now. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you've done. We thank you, Lord God, for what you are about to do. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you that, thank you, thank you, thank you that we can ask you for whatever we will. And as long as we are connected to the vine, we have the petitions that we ask for. Thank you for your provision as you supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Thank you for your divine prosperity. Thank you for your healing, past, present, and future. Because you are our Jehovah. Rufi. Oh God, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you now, Lord God. Thank you for divine healing. Thank you for physical and spiritual hearing. Thank you for seeing and feeling and smelling and tasting. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for being a present help in times of trouble. Thank you, Lord God, for being present with us always. Thank you for the gift of the Spirit. Oh God, we thank you this morning. We thank you tonight. Thank you for the word, the word of wisdom. Thank you for the word of knowledge. Thank you for faith. Thank you for gifts of healing, working of miracles, prophecy. Thank you right now. Thank you for discerning of spirits, Lord God. Thank you for diverse kinds of tongues and the interpretation of tongues. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the fruits of the spirit. Thank you for love. We thank you for joy. We thank you for peace. We thank you for long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God, we thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your faithfulness for you are faithful. Huh? I said you are faithful God and we thank you for it. Huh? Thank you for being the wonderful counsel. Thank you for being the mighty God. Huh? Thank you for being our everlasting father. Huh? Thank you Lord God for being our prince of peace huh? according to Isaiah 9 and 6. Huh? Thank you Lord God. Thank you for being the way, huh? the truth and the life. Huh? Thank you for being our light. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you for being our light. Thank you for being the door that opens that no man can shut. Thank you for being the bread of life. Thank 
Thank you for being the good shepherd. Thank you for being our redeemer. Thank you, Lord God, for being the king of kings and the Lord of lords. God, we praise you now. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you've done, for everything that you are doing, and for everything that you are going to do. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Ah, we bless your name. For your name is great, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for being our Father. We thank you. We thank you. And God, right now, while we pray, we know that our battle is not with flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wickednesses in high places. And that's why, God, we're putting on, we're putting on, we're putting on the whole armor of you, Lord God, so that we'll be able to stand, so that we'll be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, oh God, we will be strong in you, and in the power of your might, oh, we will be strong in you, and in the power of your might, and we will be strong, Lord God, because we have Christ in us, the hope of glory, so we shall prevail uh, because the battles are not ours, uh, but they belong to you, Lord God. Uh, and so, God, right now, tonight, uh, this first Tuesday of March, uh, we put on uh, each one of us, uh, those that are under the sound of my voice, uh, those that are watching via Facebook, uh, we put on uh, the breastplate of righteousness, Lord God. Uh, and we pray your word tonight. Uh, do we pray your word tonight? because it's your word that we have hidden in our hearts that we might not sin against you God because you made Christ who knew no sin to be sin for us <laughs> that we might become the righteousness of you Lord God oh God and tonight we acknowledge you as our Jehovah sick canoe we acknowledge you Lord God because to Jehovah sick canoe. It simply means the righteous one. We acknowledge your righteousness, Lord God. We acknowledge your righteousness, Lord God. And not only do we acknowledge your righteousness, but we acknowledge you, Lord God, as the sanctifier. We acknowledge you, Lord God, as the one that cleans us up. Oh God, oh God, oh God, clean us up. Clean us up, master. Clean us up, master. We realize that our own self-righteousness is as filthy rags in your sight, in your eyes. But your word says that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive give our sins and to cleanse us to cleanse us to cleanse us to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and so God tonight we pray forgive us Lord forgive us Lord God forgive us of our sins we want to be your loving and obedient child we want to be your spotless bride presented unto you on that glorious splendid day God we want to be without spot. We want to be without wrinkle or any such thing according to your word. We want to be holy. 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 We want to be without blemish, Lord God. Oh God. Oh God. We want to be holy. We want to be without blemish, Lord God. Through the washing of the water of your word. Wash us, Lord God. Make us clean. Create in us, Lord God, a clean heart. And renew in us a righteous spirit, Lord God. Oh, God. We acknowledge you tonight as our sanctifier. We want to be your humble servant. To walk in love. To walk in forgiveness to walk in gentleness uh, toward each other uh, showing the love of Christ uh, as your body according to your word uh, oh God tonight while we pray uh, our prayer is that you remind us uh, that if we do
do this. We will exit out from your oh God, we will. Oh God, we don't want to walk outside of you. We don't want to walk outside of you, but we want to walk in the spirit. Oh God, if we walk outside of you, then God, we exit out from your righteousness and we enter back into our own self-righteous filthy rags. So God, tonight, help us to be a doer of your word and not just a hearer only, deceiving ourselves so we may act upon the revelation, the, the knowledge that you have given us, Lord God. So God, right now, my prayer is that you help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us to crucify our flesh. Help us to crucify our flesh. Help us to crucify our flesh. Don't let this flesh get no glory. Oh God, we die daily. We die daily. We die daily. Help us to die daily, Lord God, from self-desires and to live to do your desires. In the name of Jesus, while we pray, in the name of Jesus, while we pray, we command the mind of our flesh to shut up. We command the mind of our flesh to shut up and don't talk to us about sin because as of right now, we are dead to sin. 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 Don't talk to us, Satan. Don't talk to us, flesh, about condemnation for there is no condemnation to us because we are in Christ. We we walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. We've been healed tonight. We've been spiritually healed. We've been spiritually resuscitated. We've been rejuvenated. We've been revived. We've been restored. And we say yes to your God. We say yes to your God. We've been healed tonight by the stripes of Jesus. We've been redeemed tonight from the curse of the law we are blessed <laughs> we are blessed yes God we are blessed yes God we are blessed yes God we are blessed when we come in we are blessed when we go out we are blessed in the cities and blessed in the fields our food is blessed our seeds are blessed our land is blessed our storehouses are blessed everything that we touch is blessed and it prospers according to Deuteronomy chapter 28 all these blessings hey glory to God all these blessings hey glory to God all these blessings shall come upon us and overtake us because we will obey the voice of the Lord oh my God my God and we thank you for being obedient we thank you for being obedient to your voice in the name of Jesus for your word declares if we be willing and obedient we shall eat the good of the land God we want to thank you for the spirit of obedience we want to thank you Lord God that you did not give us the spirit of fear but a power and of love and of a sound mind oh God we thank you for your word we thank you for your word for your word says that we are not to be deceived that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God God I want to thank you right now I want to thank you for your inheritance I want to thank you right now God I want to bless your name because your name is great oh God thank you tonight thank you tonight God thank you tonight my father thank you Lord God for being who you are thank you Lord God for loving me thank you Lord God for loving us thank you master 
Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord God, for taking us higher. Higher in your will. Higher in your will. Higher in your will. Higher in your will. Take us higher. Take us higher. We want to go higher. Oh, God, creating us. Creating us tonight. Creating us tonight. A clean heart. You have renewed. <laughs> that's not past tense, but that's right now. You have renewed. You have renewed a right spirit within us. You've made old things pass away. And behold, all things are new. God, we thank you. We thank you because you didn't cast us away from your presence. And you didn't take the Holy Ghost. You didn't take the Holy Ghost away from us. When we failed you for your mercy endures forever. You restored us to the joy of your salvation. And God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight, God, because it's your joy that has given us strength. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we thank you now, God. We thank you now, God. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your joy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help us tonight. Help us tonight. Help us tonight. Help us tonight, God. Help us tonight, God. Help us tonight, God. For we need your help. We need your help, Lord God. We need your help while we pray. 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 While we seek your face. Not your hands, Lord God. But we seek your face. We seek your face. We seek your face. We seek your face and not your hand. 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 If my people, which are called by my name, would just humble themselves and pray. That's what your word declare. Here we are, God. Here we are interceding for your people. Here we are, God, interceding for this nation. Here we are, God, interceding, interceding, interceding for the world. And God, we pray right now that you cover our feet, that you cover our feet, cover our feet with the preparation of the gospel. Cover our feet with shoes, with sandals of peace. Oh, God. And when you do that, God, it will enable us to walk in the spirit so we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Thank you, God. Thank you that the spirit leads us and we walk in the light because you are the light. Thank you, Lord God. As we cover our feet with this preparation, we take off vanity. We take off pride. We take off darkness. We take off ignorance in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God. We thank you for being our ever-present God, our Jehovah Shammah, and our shepherd. Thank you for being Jehovah Ruha. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And we thank you today. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, God. We open our mouth, God, and we give you glory. We open our mouth, God, and we give you praise. We open our mouth, God, and we magnify you, and we glorify you like we never done before. Lord, tonight, your spirit is upon us because you've anointed us. You have anointed us to preach and teach the gospel to the poor. You've sent us to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to open up the prisons to them that are bound. Oh, we got a river of life in us. We got a river of life in us that's flowing out of us. Oh God, and we thank you. Thank you for the river of life. Thank you for the river of life. Thank you for the river of life, Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say yes to your Lord. Right now, God, we will 
proclaim we will proclaim your acceptable year and your day of vengeance we will comfort all that mourn oh my God we will comfort all that mourn oh my God and tonight God tonight God we are taking on the garment of praise and we are oh my God we are releasing ourselves from the spirit of heaviness and we are putting on the garment of praise oh God we got the see we're gonna praise your God like we've never praised you before we're gonna cry out to your God like we've never cried out to you before and God we said thank you God thank you for ordering our steps thank you for ordering our steps we acknowledge your God we acknowledge your father we acknowledge your precious Jesus we acknowledge the precious gift of the Holy Ghost we acknowledge in all of our ways we acknowledge it tonight in everything we do we will do it heartedly according to your will oh God our ears are attentive our ears are attentive our ears have been circumcised we've removed flesh from our hearing he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit says unto the church tonight God we cry out and we spread not we lift up our voices like trumpets and we're showing your people the transgressions of their ways and we say yes yes god yes 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 god yes yes lord yes god you declared in your word that where two or three are gathered together you said you'll be in the midst of us and we thank you god thank you for your presence thank you for your anointing thank you for your glory thank you lord god thank you Oh God, God, tonight uh, we are not seeking after the praises of men, uh, nor do we seek after uh, our own glory, uh, but we seek first. <laughs> we seek first. Uh, glory to God. Uh, but we seek first. Uh, uh, but we seek first uh, your kingdom. Uh, we seek after your righteousness. Lead us. For you are Jehovah Roha, our shepherd. Instruct us. Teach us in the way that we should go. Guide us with your eye. Guide us with your eye. Guide us with your eye. Guide us tonight 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 with your eye. Guide us tonight, Lord God, with your eye. Guide us tonight, Lord God, with your eye. Guide us tonight, Master, with your eye. Guide us tonight with your eye. We want to be wise sons and daughters who gather your harvest instead of sons and daughters who causes you shame and sleep, Lord God, during the harvest. Help us, God, to keep a right heart and a hearing ear. Give us wisdom to use you to win your people back to your kingdom. Lead us, Master. Lead us, Master. Lead us, Master. We thank you for the leading. We thank you for the leading. We thank you, God. Thank you for the leading. Give us, God. Give us, God, your servants. Boldness to stand up for you. 
<laughs> we go forth. Tonight we will go forth. Tonight we will tonight we will go tonight we will go forth to do your will we go forth into the entire world that you have called us to preach the gospel to oh God to the man see to the man ask it to the man to the man to the man today ah we say yes to your God ah we say yes to your God ah we say yes to your God Oh, oh God, we thank you now. 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 Oh Panta de Beko to the Mansa. Yea, God, we tell you thank you. Yea, God, we tell you thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for shattering strongholds. Mm. Thank you for shattering the strongholds. Thank you for shattering the strongholds. Thank you for shattering the strongholds. Glory to God. Thank you for shattering the strongholds. Glory to God. Uh, we're standing on the truth of your word because you said that you would give us the keys to the kingdom uh, that whatsoever we would bind on earth uh, would be bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth uh, would be loosed in the heavens. Uh, and right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, we bind our will to the will of God uh, that we will be constantly aware of your will and purpose for our lives we bind the strong man so that he may not spoil our household and we take back every bit of joy peace blessings freedom and every material and spiritual possession that he has stolen from us and we take them back right now we lose the strong man's influence over every part of our body soul and spirit we loose we crush we smash we destroy every evil device that he may try to bring into our atmosphere right now god as we come to the closing of this prayer we repent of every wrong desire attitude and pattern of thinking forgive us for holding on to wrong ideas desires behaviors and habits we bind and loose these things in the name of Jesus because he has given us the keys to do so and we say thank you Lord come on put those hands together give God some glory come on come on come on come on Clap those hands like the devil is between them. Open your mouth and give God a shout. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on here. Come on here. Come on. Come on here. Come on here. Come on. Open your mouth. Give God a shout. Don't let your mask muzzle your praise. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give him glory. Hallelujah. Let's go quickly to the word of God because I believe that there is a timely word for the people of God. Let's go to Psalms, Psalm 73. Glory to God. I promise you I won't be long, but I will be strong. Psalm 73. My God. Glory to God. Look at verse number one. Truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart but as for me my feet were almost gone my steps had well nigh slipped this psalm was penned by the hand of Asaph who was a descendant of David as well as a prominent singer and a person who saw specific things 
in David's court. This 73rd number of Psalm, Sister Perry, began by Asaph affirming that even though, Sister Nichelle, God is good to those in the faith who trust him and are pure in heart, he himself nearly slipped in his confidence in the Lord. So he puts emphasis on his own situation by beginning verse 2 with the phrase, but as for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got a problem here because Asaph just finished telling us that God is indeed good to Israel, to the peer in heart. But now his tone or his voice has changed to a tone of agitation. His voice has changed to frustration. His voice has changed to disappointment. His voice has changed to discouragement. And I want to ask Asaph something. What happened, Asaph, between God is good to Israel, to the peer in heart, to but ask for me? My feet almost slipped and my steps nearly went astray for I was envious of the prosperity of the wicked. I, I need to know something now. A few minutes ago, you told us how good God was. And now you're telling me your foot almost slipped. Why should the people who oppose God be better off than those who trust God? The spirit of discouragement was so overwhelming Brad Ed and EJ until Asaph almost lost faith in God's goodness. Glory to God. So he explained the situation that troubled him. He observed the prosperity. He observed the peace and pleasure of the sinner. He observed the pride of the sinner. He observed the progress of the sinner. As in other words, he took his eyes off of God. And he turned to the prosperity of the folk around him. When Asaph took all of this in, it caused him to become bitter in heart. Maybe I'm just preaching to myself right now. Maybe you've never been there, but he looked at the life he had been living for the Lord. That's in verse 13. He looked at his own share of sorrow. That's in verse 14. He looked at a life lived for the Lord and it broke his heart. That's in verse 16. Yet he was afraid to admit how he felt out loud. I'm going to keep this to myself. That's some stuff that we got going on within us. Instead of us voicing it, we hold it in. And one of the reasons why we keep it so quiet because we don't want to lead others down the same path of despair that we're walking on. So when Asaph saw these things, he felt like quitting on God. He felt as though he had wasted his time in serving the Lord. Mm -hmm, yeah. How many have truly felt that way? I, I, I wish I had some help up in here. How many have really felt that way when the trials of life began to pile up on us? We, we are tempted to think that we would have been better off living like the rest of the world. The enemy would have, have us to believe or think that there's no benefits in serving God. But look at somebody and tell them serving the Lord. 
it's going to pay off after a while. As a matter of fact, it ain't going to pay off after a while, but it's paying off right now. Oh, I wish I had some help. How you know it's paying off right now? Because God said that he will supply all of my needs according to his riches as well as his glory. And I thank God for payoff. As I began to look at this on the day, I began to see Asaph getting an education. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. He's about to get an education because now, y'all, because the problem with this line of thinking is that life is viewed from a human perspective. And when we look at life and its problems from a human perspective, we will focus our attention on self. Everything will always come down to this. How does this affect me? What problems will I face now? When will I ever have relief? Who cares about what I'm facing? Natural thinking always results in disaster because it allows us to stand in the wrong place and see things from the wrong angle. Mm, watch this. If you allow yourself to fall into the trap of looking at life from a human perspective, you, like Asaph, will find yourself in a place where you will begin to doubt what you know to be true about the Lord. Asaph had learned the truth about God. But what he experienced in life, are y'all in here with me? Seemed to contradict what he had learned. Mm-hmm. And what happened? This brought Asaph, Sister Perry, to a place of confusion and doubt concerning God. Wait a minute. How you know? Because where he's now at is on slippery ground. My feet. See, y'all don't want to talk to me. My feet almost slipped. Listen to me. I said this today in our devotion. Don't let your confusion steer you away from God. But allow it to bring you closer to God. Here was a man who was strongly tempted to envy the prosperity of the wicked. That's a common temptation. Envying other folk is a common temptation that has tried to grace many saints. You start seeing what other folk have. And you start wishing. You start hating. They got it. Why it couldn't be me? It can be. Instead of you becoming envious, start looking at what they got. And just say, it's, it, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's coming. It may not be coming now, but it's coming. As a matter of fact, it is coming now because now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not, I can't see it, but it's already here. Look at somebody and say, what I'm going through is going to bring me closer to the Lord. And what's about to happen in my life, I am about to experience a shift of faithfulness. I'm almost there, y'all. Suffering makes us fit for the things that God has for us. Glory to God. 
Lay your hands on yourself and say, my suffering is making me fit for the things that God has for me. Asaph had learned the truth about God. But what he had learned did not go along with what he had experienced in the world. And because of his experience, he was confused by several things. My God, I got to bring this thing on in. The wicked didn't seem to suffer trouble as others. They covered themselves with pride and violence. Their evil devices were unbounded. Their speech was scornful, malicious, and arrogant as if they owned the world. They were carried away by their own evil, presumptuous, self-confident, and self-centered ways, thinking that God didn't know what they had going on. Does that not look like the world today? And with no cares in the world, the wicked, arrogant people, seem like they continue to prosper. So Asaph began to talk to himself and he said, I'm confused. Let's just be honest, y'all. I'm confused. But what was meant to discourage me is qualifying me for my deliverance. Like many saints before and after Asaph, Asaph was puzzled that God seemed to prosper the wicked and punish the righteous. What did he do? Watch what Asaph did. And he did it in verse 13. He asked a question and revealed the conflict that filled his heart. Look at somebody and tell them you better learn how to have a conversation with God. You know, folks go around talking about you ain't supposed to question God. Well, how are you going to get some answers? And I told y'all, it's not the question, but it's how you present it. He said, I said did I purge my heart and wash my hands in innocence for nothing? Was my ethical behavior a waste of time? Because the wicked folks are thriving while I am being afflicted and punished. Asaph, I should have been there with you because if I'd have been there with you, I would have told you that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. In his misery, Asaph began to wonder if he should have lived as he pleased so that he might at least share in the benefits of the unbeliever. If I would have been there, I would have said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul if I would have been there I would have said no man who puts his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God but Ahab, Asaph realized something he realized that the things that he was saying within himself I can't say them out loud Can't let nobody know I'm in this kind of mind frame. Because if I let somebody know such negative, if I let, Nisa, if you let the folks know on the job, if you let the folks know in the community how you really feel, the negativity would drive them from God instead of driving them to God. So I'm here tonight to tell you, don't be, a, don't be frightened. Don't be dismayed. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I've said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Lay your hands on yourself and say that what was meant to discourage me is qualifying me for my deliverance. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, in this season of your life, 
you cannot afford to hide your feelings from God. You better learn how to be honest about your confusion. You better learn how to be honest about your frustration. When you are upset and feel that God has let you down, baby honey child, you better bring your struggles to God in prayer. He's not afraid of your concerns. He's not troubled by your disappointments. It's far better to pour out your anger and anxieties to God through prayer than to bury them inside and turn to sin. I don't know about y'all, but I must tell Jesus all about my troubles. For I cannot bear these burdens alone. Look at somebody and say, you better have a little talk with Jesus. Uh -huh. See, y'all scared to talk to him tonight. You better tell him, you better have a little talk with Jesus and you better tell him all about your troubles. Why? Because he'll hear your fainted cry and he'll answer by and by. But when you feel the prayer will turn it, then you know that the fire is burning. Why? Because you didn't have a little talk with Jesus and he's making everything alright. Look at somebody and just shout out all right, all right, all right. I know you're going through. I know you got some trouble in your life. But can I tell you all a secret? Don't you tell nobody else. I need you to be patient. <laughs> I know it's rough right now, but I need you to be patient. Uh, you can't allow your current situation to get or uh, pull you out of character. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I cannot allow what I'm going through right now to pull me out of character because I've been testifying. That God is a good God. I've been testifying that he, if, if he bring you to it, he'll bring you through it. I, I bet y'all don't want to talk back to me. I've been testifying. I've been telling folks that God is still God. He's still sitting on the throne. But now it seems like all hell is coming against me. But what was meant to discourage me is actually qualifying me for my deliverance. Qualifying me for my breakthrough. The sickness that I I'm dealing with God is getting ready to heal. God is getting ready to deliver. God is getting ready to give me breakthrough. The trials that I'm fighting with is over because I had the word say, my brethren, can it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience. You better learn how to praise God while you're going through. Look at somebody and tell them, I need you to be patient. I need you to be patient. Uh -uh, come on, holler at them and tell them, I need you to be patient. I need you to be patient. Tell them, I, I, tell them as right now, right now, right now, you cannot allow what you got going on in your life uh, to mess over your character. You can't afford to get out of character. So I need for you to calm down. The word teaches us in Luke 21, 19. It says, in your patience, possess ye your soul. James 1 and 4 says, but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Psalms 119 and 71 says, it's good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy stature. And I'm going to say it like this. Teach me, O Lord, the ways of thy stature and I shall keep them until the end. Give me understanding so that I might keep thy law and I shall observe them with my whole heart. Lord, it was good for me that I went through what I went through so that I could learn who you really are. Psalm 61 says this. It says, hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed. You just missed it. When my heart is overwhelmed, 
you just missed it when my heart is overwhelmed what do I need for God to do lead me to the rock that is higher than I Lord I need you to hide me in the secrets of your pavilion I need you to set me up I want you to hide me so the devil can't find me there's some stuff that should have been done to you but because of who God is to you God hid you from the enemy and I tell y'all a secret the wealth and easy living of those who didn't follow God's will tempted Asaph they tempted him to abandon his commitment to living by God's law. And Asaph confessed. My God. Asaph confessed that I almost stumbled in my walk as a faithful believer when I thought about the material prosperity of the wicked. Okay. I know y'all tired of me. Doubt came from his struggling mind. Is, is that anybody up in here? Amen. Doubt came from his struggling mind while unbelief came from his stubborn will that almost cost him surrendering to God. I cannot allow what I see affect my belief in God. Stop looking at the conflicting evidence. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If God said we heal, we'll heal. No matter how many pills we take it. The pills, the pills are the conflicting evidence because his word said by his stripes. We are healed. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. What do you do when the evidence is stacked up against you? Whose report? <laughs> Whose report will you believe? That's what's wrong with our society of the day. The unbelieving person will not believe while the doubting person struggles to believe but cannot. Asaph, I got to close y'all, was greatly discouraged. And let me tell you something, Asaph was not just speaking of himself, but he was speaking to many servants of God. Look at his temptation. My feet were almost gone, verse 2. My steps had well nigh slipped, all because I saw the prosperity of the wicked, and it brought me much harm. What happened to you except I became envious and bitter. Protesting and complaining against God and angry as a beast before thee and miserable. It was too painful for me and it all but overthrew me. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17, I was almost messed up. I almost let go. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough and I couldn't see. The devil thought he had me, but God reached down and grabbed me. And God held me close <laughs> until I entered his sanctuary.
Sister Perry, I was looking at all that stuff that was going on around me. But when I entered into his sanctuary, there are some seasons in your life that's shaking everything around you. In these moments, it's easy to get discouraged, wondering what will happen. But you have to remember, the shaking is not there to stop you. You missed what I just said. Look at somebody and tell them the shaking ain't there to stop me. Uh huh. Uh huh. The stuff that's going on around your head, it ain't there to stop you. Uh huh. So, Lord have mercy. Tell somebody else the shaking ain't there to stop you. It's there to shift you. Ooh. What I'm going through is not going to stop me, it's just shifting me. God is getting ready to take you. To the next dimension. Somebody, you better get this word tonight. You better get this word. You there on Facebook Live. You better get this word tonight. Because what you got going on in your life, it's, it, <laughs> it ain't there to stop you. It's there to shift you. And you need to get ready to take. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's just, just lift your hands and say, Lord, take me to another dimension. Uh huh. Take me to that next dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and understand what God is saying to you right now. He said, all it takes is one shift of me. All it takes is one shift, Sister Perry, of God's favor to bring your life to a whole new dimension. The greatest force in the universe is breathing your way. It's the favor of the almighty God. God can cause the winds of favor to blow opportunity, to blow healing, to blow breakthrough into your life. One touch from God can shift you from sickness to health. One touch from God can shift you from lack to abundance. One touch from God can shift you from struggle to ease. Somebody shout shift! Don't you know that doors that did not open before will suddenly open now? What should have taken years with God's touch can happen in a fraction of the time. Understand me tonight. God has unlimited ways to turn any situation around. All we got to do is believe. Truly God was good to Israel. And to the pure heart. But as for me, my feet almost slipped because I began to look at what everybody was going through. I started saying to myself, I got saved for nothing. Wash my hands for nothing. Going to prayer meeting for nothing. Seeking the face of God for nothing. I started looking at what everybody else was going through. But I heard the Holy Ghost say in Isaiah 48, I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them and they came to pass. I dare you to take God at his word. Asaph said, until I what? He said, until Look at that verse, look at verse 17. Until I entered God's sanctuary, then I understood their destiny. I understood I their end. I understood where they were going. Lord, have mercy. Y'all don't want to talk back to me up in here. I got to bring this thing on in, y'all. I promise you, God said this to me and I'm quitting. He said, one touch of my favor is about to put you ahead of the rest. He said this to me. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm prophesying to somebody right now. You've been where you are long enough. 
things are about to change. You didn't see it coming. Things just fell into place. That's God shifting things in your favor. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is about to cause opportunities to find you. He has unexpected blessings that will cause you to suddenly meet the right persons. Suddenly you will see your health improve. Suddenly you are able to pay your house off. What's going on? You entered the sanctuary. You came into a shift. God breathed in your direction. What you to be a struggle is not a struggle no more. What should have taken years happen in a fraction of a time. I don't know who this for right now, but I hear the Holy Ghost saying, get ready for a shift. Start with the shift in your thinking. Don't do well on how things are going to work out. Shift your focus to how things will work out. Shift your focus to what God will do and get ready to shift your life into the favor and blessings of God. Lord have mercy. I know you're walking in fog right now. F-O-G. But you are in the favor of God. God is getting ready to pull you out of what you've been in. What was meant to discourage you has qualified you for your deliverance. Father, right now, I thank you. Thank you for your hand of blessings on our lives. Right now, God, we lift our eyes to you and we declare that we are ready. We are ready for unexpected blessings. We are ready for increase. We are ready for supernatural shift. You have prepared for us in Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. If God has blessed you tonight with this word and through this word, I want you to sow into the ministry. Amen. Sow into the ministry. Right there on the string, right there on the string, there's our cash app. There's Giblify. And just so, cash app, dollar sign, number one, Ebenezer, C-O-G-O-C, -O -C, all cap. Giblify at Ebenezer. Church of God in Christ. Lord have mercy. Sow into this ministry. I promise you, if you sow a seed according to your need, God will open the windows of heaven and he'll pour you out blessings where you won't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I'm believing that God is going to turn some stuff over for you. I'm believing God for a bumper crop. Uh-huh, yeah, a bumper crop. Uh -huh. Abundant harvest is coming your way. Glory to God. Glory to God. You got to know when to reap, when to sow. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You got to know when to sow as well as when to reap. Glory to God. Many times our harvest is already there, but we won't go out and harvest the stuff in. We'll leave it out there for the enemy. It'll rot. But I refuse to leave my harvest. For the devil to take. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God, again, we want to thank you for what has been done. We want to thank you for what's been declared in this house. And God, we thank you for the blessing of your word. And we thank you for those that are watching via Facebook Live. We thank you for those that will be watching YouTube. Glory to God. And we give you glory. And we give you praise for this word. Strengthen us. Strengthen us, Lord God, for the task that is set before us. Hold us up, God. Hold us up, Lord God, so our feet won't slip. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Consider yourself dismissed.